I want you to notice the values behind the emails that you receive from fellow business coaches like me. And what I mean by this is when you uh, read their emails and see their social media posts, what are they really trying to get you to do? Uh, it might be very upfront. Like I just saw a Facebook ad uh, that said, the six secrets to building a seven figure business. So the values there is basically secrets is, you know, doing something that others don't know about a little bit sneaky, right? And then seven figure business is, oh, I have so much money, you know, that you don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's a, it's a chasing after it's reframe, it's framing success as a particular number, seven figure business. Well, why, why seven figures? Why couldn't they say five figure business or eight figure business, right? Why seven figure? Because it's their definition of what success is. And so do, do you notice that? Like, do you recognize that the marketing that you receive is influencing you towards certain values? Are you aware of that? Because I have been very sensitive to that for years. And this is why I had to stop what I was doing from what I've learned from all the guru, marketing gurus years ago when I stopped all this and like basically shut down my business. Five years into it, I was pretty financially successful, but I something was deeply wrong. I, I, my conscience couldn't let me continue. And and now I you know, finally figured out it was because we keep getting inundated by messages that lead us in a certain direction of values that if we were trans if, if they were transparent about the values and if we actually brought it into our consciousness, we would be like, oh, yeah, that's not what I think life is about. Um, sure, of course, I want you to make money. Yes, I want you to be no longer pressured about finances. Of course I do. And yet, I believe that happens not by chasing it directly. No, sorry, let me say this again. It can happen by chasing it directly, but the chase towards the money directly makes you, it, it tends to make you lose your grounding and it brings up the tendency for anxiety, depression, discouragement, loss of soulfulness, essentially. Which is why, you know, the course that I'm teaching right as, as of this moment that I'm that I'm uh, recording this, I'm teaching a course on simple, authentic money making, which made me really uncomfortable to like offer it, but I had to put the uh, the word authentic in there because it's like I don't like to talk directly about making money. I like to teach you everything that is really about true success and the techniques of marketing, sure, but always grounded in the values that we celebrate, that we can celebrate, that makes our heart uh, feel, um, feel really good, alive, purposeful, deeply connected to what is truly beautiful about life. So I want you to notice that. Um, the next time you you get an email from a fellow uh, business expert, uh, marketing um, group mentor, please notice the values. And if you want to comment below, don't mention any names, but you can tell us, yeah, the message was about this and the values is therefore, this is the values that they are trying to influence their audience toward. Now, um, you might say, well, you know, they're just trying to, they're just trying to help people make money so that because people can't think about higher, higher values things before they make enough money. Is that true? Like, for example, um, someone who wants junk food, right, who like craves junk food. Don't you think they have a higher impulse for nutrition and healthier food as well? 
or someone who craves pornography don't they don't you think they have a deeper yearning for true intimacy and someone who craves money and you know seven figure business i believe that you have a deeper yearning for a sense of security sure and impact and um a higher self esteem like you are on purpose in life right so you might say well let's not blame the business and marketing people who are selling us more profit and a particular number for success or just like always bringing us towards like get people to buy this from you and get it's like it's very much grasping that's the that's the feeling i i get from so many people in my industry it's like it's teaching people to become hungry ghosts like this grasping nature of all their messaging is like wow um so it's like oh you might say george let's not blame them they're just trying to help people on the maslow's hierarchy the, the lowest level but here's the here's the secret if i may use that term that i've discovered about all this it is actually much more sustainable towards a, a path of success when you focus on the practices of developing yourself and your business for example showing up consistently on social media with con with authentic content it's not easy have you noticed it's not easy it's so easy to make excuses oh family is visiting i'm visiting family i'm i'm sick this week i'm not feeling well the stars are not aligned i mean all of us make excuses like that myself included sometimes or i want to i'm very tempted to always so the practice of showing up consistently online with blog posts or with videos like i do like i try to model this i don't i always want to remind you i didn't feel like starting this video i didn't i was just taking a nap i'm like okay two o'clock friday roll around at two o'clock pacific time i promised that i would do i promised myself that i would do a video and some of you watching this know that that's usually when when i do my facebook lives i don't feel like doing this right now i mean now i now i do but really the first couple minutes when i first started i could be you know i don't know eating popcorn or watching some video it's a friday afternoon i want to relax i've had a busy week but here i am in front of you i show up i practice showing up consistently always i don't feel like it do you think i write all the stuff because oh, i love writing and i don't love writing i i really now now many years now into practicing it i i can feel more of the love of it but trust me the first couple of years it was like oh my gosh i gotta write again i'm a bad writer i have so many judgments about my own writing and and in the beginning years of my own videos now i i can stand to watch my videos if, if i need to <laughs> but in the beginning years my god i had so much judgments about myself about my and all this all this inner critics but i still show up anyway because i was practicing setting my my lovingly setting my inner critic aside inner critic i know you care about me you want my safety you don't want me to take risk and embarrass myself and lose social status or whatever it is you know evolutionarily that's what we are afraid of getting kicked out of the tribe i understand and yet i have faith that even if i lose status in front of some people not that i will gain status in front of others but it will allow me to practice right i calm that inner critic I, it, this will allow me to practice and some people who feel connected to my energy signature will continue showing up and they'll benefit from it somehow thank you inner critic and i show up and this kind of practice practicing showing up consistently for content practice making offers humbly even if nobody buys even if nobody buys because i've had plenty of that in my early years i just kept showing up oh nobody bought okay uh two weeks from now yeah, how about this would you like to buy this oh nobody bought okay two weeks from now how about this oh one person bought oh oh okay all right let me serve that person well and get get some feedback and then oh can would you like to buy this i just kept showing up even if nobody bought and i work lightly because if i'm going to show up to offer you something 
and nobody might buy. I'm not going to put so much effort into the web page. I'm not going to put create graphics and all that stuff. It's going to be text only. Now, unless I enjoy creating graphics, if you enjoy it, please go ahead and have fun while limiting your time doing so um, and make the offer. So like I said, the practices of showing up for content and then humbly making offers, I always talk about these things. And these, and also the practice of lovingly connecting with your past clients, if you have any, or your friends or your colleagues, en enjoying their presence without having to have an agenda. Oh, I'm going to talk about my business the very next moment. Just enjoying them, trying to support them, limiting your time. Obviously, that's also a practice, a practice of not, of not allowing your ADHD to run rampant. But keep practicing limiting yourself to rabbit, you know, being careful with rabbit holes, limiting yourself to not get lost in your time, to not be unaware of time, but to be more sensitive to time passing by, right? And you could stop watching this video anytime. I don't care if you finish watching this video if you have other things that are more important to do. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, but these practices of showing up and authentically exploring with a heart of service towards others as well. And the practice of humbly serving them with, with a paid product or service, even if they might not buy, but just letting them know that's available with a heart of service to say, maybe this is for you. And maybe this is for someone you know. If not, that's okay too. I will be back in two weeks with something else, right? Not, not, to, not that you're emailing each person every two weeks. That's not what I mean, but a social media post, right? Or the practice of connecting net caring with your colleagues and friends and network from a heart of service, from, from an enjoyment of them without trying to sell them stuff all the time. These kinds of practices, I keep talking about them because... The values there, you can sense what the values are. The values are a dedication to, to a growth mindset, right? A dedication to improving oneself, a dedication to um, be, becoming more empathic and serving your people well, the people yet that are connected to you, serving them as well as you can. And the practice of um, continually reconnecting with your higher self or with your divine source so that you can once again set aside the inner critic because you are loved right when you connect with your divine source you realize i don't need to please anybody and i don't care if i lose status i don't care if i embarrass myself not really because my divine no i don't care if i lose all my fans if i say something embarrassing if i embarrass myself and i never have any other money any a dime for the rest of my life I will go live as Peace Pilgrim did, not one of my heroes, Peace Pilgrim. That's always my backup, right? I'll live as Peace Pilgrim did. She never took a single dime, you know, in her 30 years of, of pilgrimage. Um, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like, like these practices, this is what I keep on telling you again and again and again, because those are the values I want to keep reminding you of, because it's so different from what I keep seeing from my op, from my industry of like make more money, get more profit. Um, build a bigger business, get more followers. I'm like, do you understand the values that are that you're and and so by by going towards grasping type of values, by going towards selfish values, right? Like, sure, you might get a bigger following and make more money, but it's always on very uh philosophically ungrounded um foundation. It, it's it's come it's coming from a spiritually tenuous um place and, and it's it, it that's where anxiety arises that's where uh depression is is further uh, increased and that's where greed and you know delusion happens whereas if you keep on practicing and coming back to these practices you'll also make money see that's a, that's the thing the practices that i keep on telling you again and again that you i hope you're continuing to refine for yourself again and again, you'll make plenty of money. George, where's my money? Well, we need to talk in a Q&A. Maybe there are certain things that you might want to do differently. I'm sure there are certain things. Or are you showing up consistently? Like there's, we can talk in a question and answer call um, about, you know, I can help you troubleshoot. George, I'm not making enough money. 
I, t I do your practices. Really? Okay, well, let's talk about it. Which ones are you doing and which ones are you not doing and which ones are you doing in a way that, you know, I can help you do differently, uh, better perhaps, but you'll make money. And, and not only will you make money and have security and impact and fulfillment and happiness, you'll, it'll also be on a spiritually solid foundation, a philosophically sound uh, life, which then makes your money making easier and easier over the years. Why? Because you have actually built the skills and the um, heart set and mindset that is really strong and that's really stable. And, and you understand how to have grit, essentially. And you understand how to generate flow. When I say flow, I mean psychological and emotional flow. You understand that, oh, when you don't feel like it, when you're sick, when family's visiting, you create boundaries. I don't care if I'm sick. I show up anyway. I, like, I, I always tell you, I don't care if I'm sick. I show up on video anyway. I've done that many times. And what's interesting is I used to get sick a lot. Yes. I mean, so I'm, I'm sure if I went to a, I'm sure I probably could get diagnosed for certain. I mean, I, I have to take four naps a day. I mean, you, you may know this about me. I have to take four naps a day to feel normal. That's not normal as a human being. I mean, my wife doesn't, have, most people I know don't have to take, don't even have to take one or two naps a day to feel normal and able to work normally. I have to take four to feel normal. So I probably have something, some kind of chronic illness or whatever. I don't, but see the thing is I don't want to, it's, uh, I know avoidance is not necessarily the solution, but guess what? It's worked for me. Whatever I'm doing has worked for me for years. And I just try, I, I try not to give energy to my weaknesses. I try not to give energy to my excuses. Now, I know, I'm, I'm so, I, I don't mean to say there is no such thing as illness and whatever. Of course there is. And you need to do things to heal yourself. And But I am saying that whatever you can do to pay attention to the direction of your energy, it's like all of us can probably be a little bit more sensitive where whether we're giving too much energy to our excuses and our weaknesses or you know and and whether we can give a bit more energy to the dedication to practice i'm not say, i'm not saying you should work like i do or have the same amount of showing up like i do everybody is going to be different i mean maybe maybe you really 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 can't and you can only show up once a month on video or once a month in your writings that's fine I want you to start from where you are. What you can do is what I celebrate that you do, really. And yet, I want you to be sensitive to this principle of the dedication to practice and growth so that you can keep tracking. It's like, okay, I was only able to show up once a month for like a very, like three sentences. That's given my state of mind, being, body, family the world's chaos, I'm only able to show up once a month to write three sentences. That's all I can muster, given my schedule, my, my job, everything. Okay, whatever is happening for you. Good. I celebrate that. I do. If you're consistent with it, once a month, I can only show up for three sentences. I just type three sentences. They're bad sentences, but that's all I can do. Good. Start there. And then I hope that you will be sensitive to the principle of practice and say, oh, okay, I'm going to show up now the next month, maybe see if I can show up instead of once a month, I'll try to show up every three weeks with my three sentences. Okay, that's consistent. After a few months, good, wonderful. Let me try showing up every two weeks with my three sentences. Okay, that's consistent, wonderful. Now let me try showing up every two weeks with six sentences instead of three sentences. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to dedicate myself to practice. No matter if I'm sick, family's visiting, the world is burning around me, I'm going to show up anyway. Anyway, I'm going to create boundaries. I'm going to close the the, the little door that I have left. The top part is already burned off, but I stand close to it. Okay? <laughs> Whatever. This is the dedication that I invite you into. This is what I'm going to keep telling you. This is how you build a business. This is how you build a seven-figure business. 
this is how you have easier time marketing yourself over time. Now it's so easy for me to market. I just I just sold I just um, enrolled uh, the most successful course. I had more more people enrolled in my recent course than in the last two years, and I only sent one email, one email to my list. No one's I mean not no one, but everyone around me, all my peers are sending, you know, four to twelve emails for everything they're launching, and it's like I just had the most successful launch with one email. Why? Because my audience and I have a great relationship because I show up so consistently with a spiritually sound grounding. I think my audience can feel my values and that creates trust. Whereas I see so many others in my industry, the grasping values, the audience can feel that too. And there never ends up being very solid trust. And so they always have to keep pushing, pushing, pushing for the rest of their life to try to get enough sales or whatever. And it's like, I wish I could tell them, and I am telling them here in this video, what if it could be easier for you over the years? What if you can only send one email and have all the sales? And it was a very light email too. It's the trust. Whether the audience has that kind of deep trust in you matters a lot. But it's really about your deep trust in yourself and your deep trust in life and your divine source, if you want to say that. I believe it. Um, so I wish you a first of all a return i wish you a return to your source of well-being and i wish that you would first dedicate yourself to keep returning on a regular basis multiple times a day as i do as i need to myself to that deep source of well-being the source where you can deeply trust that you are going to be well that you are going to be fine and then next, I hope you will dedicate yourself to continuous growth of the consistency of showing up. And by doing so, of course, the money is going to come. So thank you for being here on, on this journey uh, with me, alongside me. I know you're working as well. So I celebrate you in doing that. Thank you so much.